Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing a new product. It is the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie up to 24 hour wear multi-use concealer. I actually didn't even hear about this until I went into Ulta and I saw it there and I was like, okay, I have to try it now. So I have it, we're trying it, we're gonna talk all about it, see what it looks like and we're gonna have some fun today. So before we get into it, please give this video a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me and you get three videos a week. So please make sure to subscribe. But if you wanna see my review of this concealer, stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right guys, like I said, today is gonna be all about Urban Decay and it has been a long time since I've tried an Urban Decay product, I feel like. If I'm being totally honest, I feel like a part of me forgot about this brand for some reason. I feel like nothing has come out from them that I've been like really, really excited to try, at least not that I've seen. And I honestly, like I said, didn't even hear about this until I saw it in the store and I saw a big sign that said new. So I was like, okay, maybe there's some people out there that are interested in what this is supposed to do. And I got interested. So. I'm trying it. So that's what today is gonna be. I have it pulled up online and we're gonna read up on all the details, see what it's supposed to do for me. And yeah, lots of fun stuff. So it's the Urban Decay Quickie 24 hour multi-use hydrating full coverage concealer. It goes for $33. So I would say that's a pretty normal price for like a concealer brand that you would find at like an Ulta or Sephora. I have mine in the shade 40NN, so it's light, medium, neutral, neutral. So yeah, light, medium. There were some darker shades, but it looked like they were sold out of them when I was in store, so I just grabbed this because I thought it made the most sense with my skin tone. So it's 0.55 ounces. And the highlights say that it's vegan, hydrating, full coverage, liquid formula, long wearing, cruelty free. It says a dual ended concealer that gives you a real skin finish for up to 24 hours. Full coverage, natural finish, liquid formulation. This multi-use concealer and color corrector minimizes the look of under eye dark circles, acne blemishes, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, and redness. It gives skin a natural matte finish while the waterproof moisturizing and lightweight concealer offers one swipe full coverage without fading or flaking. For the how to use, it says tap it. Comfy doe foot concealer applicator is best for targeting and pre precision. Buff it out with our built-in vegan washable buffing concealer brush. Okay, so it comes with its own little brush that you can try out which is super interesting. I really wonder how that's gonna work. So let me take this out of here so we can see what we're working with. This is big, oh my gosh. This is bigger than most concealers. Let me see. I feel like I always forget how much product is in a concealer. I have it down to a T with the foundations because they're all one ounce, but I feel like it kind of varies with concealer. 0.37. 0.22, so it seems like they're all in the 0.2s and 3s. This is 0.55, so this is actually big. Like, you get a lot of product in here for $33, so very cool. I feel like this color match will be pretty good. I'm, like, not the tannest that I've been, but I'm also not, like, light. I have a fresh tan on, so we'll see how this works. This is, like, really interesting to me, though, this little brush. It's literally a brush. For a second, it looked like a sponge, but this is gonna, I'm curious to see how this is gonna work. So anyways, let's see what it looks like on the back of my hand. Oh my gosh, how do you take this off? Hold on, guys. Oh, that was like screwed onto there. Oh my goodness. So let me see on the back of my hand what this looks like. This color match is gonna be really good, I think. Definitely full coverage, for sure. Wow, oh my gosh, you guys know that I am a medium coverage girl, but I am 
I'm here to give everything a chance. So we'll see if it's good. I've been liking a few full coverage products lately. So maybe this will be another really, really good one. But I do want to see what it looks like on my face. So we could start applying. I don't really have any other things to say. It does feel hydrating. I don't know how easy it is to blend out but we'll see on the face. The back of my hand is a different story. So I'm just gonna start applying. I'm gonna put it like everywhere where I would normally put a concealer and then I'm gonna use the sponge, or not the sponge, oh my God, the brush to blend it out and then we'll see what it looks like. Maybe I'll use, no, no. I'm gonna use the brush because I feel like I've been using a brush to blend out concealer lately anyways, so I'm gonna try it. And yeah, okay, we can get started and then we'll talk details after, so let's go. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I do not like this <laughs> At all right now. First of all, um, this was probably my own mistake. I guess This looks a lot darker in the bottle than it does When you put it on your face, I feel like this completely Washed me out like I feel like I look like a ghost right now Like I'm like scaring myself and it almost feels like you could see a clear line From where I like blended out the concealer and that never happens to me like with any other concealer this is just like completely obvious like where the concealer starts and ends and everything and i feel like it's almost giving me like a grayish like hue to my skin and i really really do not like that one thing it's really good for is it did such a good job of hiding my pores i feel like it gave me like a really airbrushed look but it is getting crepey under my eyes i don't know if you guys can see what i'm seeing but it's definitely giving me like a crepey kind of look definitely full coverage though like this is hands down the most full coverage concealer i've ever tried this is like insane like it literally covered everything up if i put this all over my face i feel like you wouldn't be able to see any kind of like blemish or anything. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing right now, but like the look that it's giving me right now, overall, I'm not a huge fan of. So I am gonna go put the rest of my makeup on so I could see how this works with other makeup products. And hopefully I can like fix what this is doing to me a little bit. And then I'll come back and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So give me one second, I will be right back. Okay, I came back. I finished the rest of my makeup and I definitely think that that helped just adding some color back into my face because this took all the color out of it. So I will say, if you're gonna get this, make sure that you're spot, spot, spot on with the color match. Like, I feel like this should have matched me because I have other concealers that are like similar to what this looks like that don't wash me out the way that this did, but it washed me out, especially if you're not trying to do like a full on face of makeup, this might not work. I feel like the only way that this could work is if you did a full face of makeup. Like I still feel like my under eyes are a little bit too like covered compared to the rest of me, but it's not terrible. Like after I put the rest of my makeup on, it's not as bad. I don't know, something about it is throwing me off though. I can't put my finger on what it is, but something's throwing me off. I don't know, but I do kind of like it at the same time. Like I feel like 
my pores, like where I put the concealer, it completely erased my pores. So that I really, really like about it. I'm gonna get up closer so you guys could see. But like right here, I didn't put concealer on and you could kind of see my pores. And then like right here and right here, I have concealer on and it's like they disappeared. So that I do really like about it, but it's definitely thick and it's definitely full, 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 full. So I would say only use this if you're going full glam. Unless you love this on its own, then do whatever you gotta do, be my guest. But for a medium coverage girl, it's definitely a lot. <laughs> but I'm not mad at it. The one thing that I really, really hate about this is the brush. The brush did not work for me at all. I really do not like this. I'm never gonna use this brush again. The concealer is a maybe, but I'm never gonna use the brush again. I like had to stop using it and go back with my other little brush that I use for concealer. This did a way better job of blending everything together and just making it look more seamless. And then I feel like even with that, I had to go on top of it with this little like powder puff that I got on Amazon. But I blended out the concealer after I blended it with this brush. I blended it again with this and I feel like that kind of fixed everything. But this on its own, absolutely not. Definitely don't, well you could try it, but I don't know that you'll like it much or what it does. I feel like it wasn't really helping to blend anything. It just was staying in place. So not a fan of the brush. The concealer itself, I'm not mad at it. Like. I wanted to like it more than I do, but I do also like it, you know, like my makeup doesn't look bad right now But it's not what I'm used to for sure. So I don't know. I'm like a little bit up in the air still about this Like will I use it again? Possibly I don't know for sure, but I definitely have tried concealers that I like more So I guess that's what I have to say about it. Like unless I'm gonna be doing like a full 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 beat I don't see myself grabbing for this, but if I really want full coverage, then maybe I will. So, I don't know. Would I like go out of my way to use it again? Probably not, but I also am not mad at how it looks. I feel like I look pretty good. So, that's it. Let me know what you guys think though. Comment, let me know if you like what it's doing for me. Let me know if you see something wrong with what it's doing for me. Let me know what other products you want me to review or what kind of videos you want to see from me. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.